abdominals, you're still working your upper body in these moves. So it's very important for you to watch the technique and make sure that you're holding your body and your arms in the correct position so that you can avoid injury and strain on your joints and other parts of your body. So what we're going to do is basic abdominal exercise. And you want to make sure that when you perform this, you can do the even amount on both sides. So whether you're timing this exercise or whether you're counting, make sure you do the same on both sides. So the first thing you're going to do is come right next to your ball and you're going to tuck your arm almost into the armpit, just above the top of your bicep, squeezing that pole into your body. That hand's going to wrap just about eye level, okay? And your other hand is going to come up just above the head. And you want to make sure you maintain a bend in your elbow, okay? This is because you want to keep your biceps engaged. You want to be able to use your back. And if you extend that arm straight up, you lock out your elbow, it's going to be very easy to pull your shoulder and you won't have the support of your biceps or your back. So, first thing you want to do is secure our body, get that arm in position. The next thing I want you to think about is when we lift our legs, I want you to do a pelvic tilt. So your goal here is to almost tuck into a little ball and we're going to start with our inside leg just to help with balance. And so level one for this exercise, it would start with the inside knee and you go up, up. Okay? Now you'll find that when you do this exercise for the first time, sometimes there's a desire to jump into this. But you want to try and really avoid that. And that's why I want you to squeeze the pole, the top of your bicep, into your body, grip nice and tightly by your eyes, other hand up, gripping tight, really secure your body to the pole so that you can imagine, imagine there's no floor, okay? You're hanging from a ceiling. So there's no way you can jump, you have nothing to jump off. So you want to feel that tension through your arms, feel your back flexing, and then I want you to lift up into that abdominal exercise. If you tip your hips up, you should really feel those lower abs really tighten up, and you'll actually get right up into your upper abdominals. So let's try that one more time, nice and slow, inside, outside, inside, outside to land. So that would be a level one, okay? And you want to do your maximum amount of reps, or you can set a timer for say 30 seconds on each side. Now, that's level one. Level two, what we would do is bring both knees up. So again, you secure your body in just the way you are, and you're going to lift both knees up and down. Okay? So that would be like a level two. A level three would be legs straight. So same arm positioning, same body position, except now you're going to go up on your toes, and you're going to lift your legs straight up, straight down. Okay? And the whole time you're still thinking about that pelvic tilt. So if you look from the side, when I do my abdominals, you should notice how much I'm really rounding my back because I'm curling those hips right up to get deep into my abdominals. You can make these harder by working on negatives, by holding, all kinds of different options here to really challenge your abdominals in different ways. So no matter how often you do these, you can always make them harder and challenge your body differently. For an example, I'm just going to switch sides to do this. Arms are in the same position, but let's say we want to work on negatives. So we bring our knees up, hold it, and you're going to really slowly, slowly, slowly lower the legs. So now we're working on the strength on your down. For pole work, where this is going to help you is in all those moves where you're inverted and you're bringing your legs down, and you need to have the control to land softly. So a lot of times, you may be able to do very advanced um, inverted moves, or other things, and the problem is the landing because your abdominals give out. So this helps you learn how to not only give you the upper body strength and endurance to hold you in this position, but it's just working your core to really be able to control all those moves and make them look really smooth and beautiful. And even if you don't pull dance, this is an awesome way to get fit. Um, working on the pole using your own body weight, it's incredible <clears throat> what kind of workout you can really get. So those are your basic apps. Got a few levels there and a few different ways to play around with it. Remember to 